Right. Carolina Sports here with Chenzo Machida, fighting January 21st, man, second fight under Bellator. First one went really well. Tell us, uh, tell us how that first experience was with uh, Bellator. The first one? Or yeah, the, the, first, the first, your first fight with Bellator. The first fight. Felt? Yeah, I'm, I felt very good. I, feel, I felt very confident. And as this time, the last time, also I, I, I had a good camp. So, and I think I did a good job. Yeah, you definitely looked uh, phenomenal. I remember interviewing before. You said that you had a little bit different style than your brother because you were a little more aggressive, and you could see that in the fight. Could you speak on that a little bit more? How? Why is it that you have a little bit more aggressive style than than Lyoto? I think it's about the the personality, you know, because even in karate tournaments when I compete together, I also I also looking for more for my attacks instead of counter techniques and the others always always doing the counter technique in the karate tournaments. Is that like a, a competition between you guys like who who could do better as brothers? Yeah, in karate you you compete you competed a lot, you know, the karate. First of all, I start to win too much, a lot, and but later he can study my game more and you almost draw at the end of the time because after later he's focus more in his career MMA career. Uh, talk about your opponent on the 21st. Uh, tell us what you know about him and uh, what kind of uh, style he represents, the difficulty he might represent. Yeah, well, I cannot watch so many fights because he has just two fights in MMA. But the, the fights that I watched, I can realize that he's a more grappling guy. So I think he has a two submissions in his MMA career. So, but also the fight starts standing. So we have to be care, but also I, I can put my game first because I'm, I'm more stand-up guy, stand-up technique guy than, than him. I have more experience in stand-up techniques, the techniques. But also, you have to be aware because it's an MMA. For sure, he had a good preparation for stand-up technique as well. So, but I'm prepared for every situation, take down, submission, I'm, I'm ready, I'm ready to fight. You obviously want to keep the fight standing, but if it does go to the ground, how comfortable are you down there staying down there or is the goal always just even if you get taken down to try to get back up as soon as possible? Yeah, I, now I had a, a very good um, technique on the ground. So I feel more confident by myself. So Alan Goyce from Jiu Jitsu, a a coach, and Henry Grace and Hiron Grace, they support me a lot. So they make me feel more confident on the ground. And also, I'm a black belt in jiu-jitsu. I'm not a jiu-jitsu guy, but I I'm, I'm feel each time that I'm in fight MMA, I feel more confident, confident on the ground. Uh, I want to ask you, um, karate is going to be in the Olympics uh, in Japan. Uh, what are your thoughts on that? And will you be involved at all uh, in, in that? No, we support karate as an Olympic, in the Olympic Games because it's very very good for every karate guy, you no. Know? But our karate is focused more in the martial arts and self-defense. So it's a little different. It's the same karate, but our focus is a little bit more, more in the self-defense and like a real combat as an MMA. I, I want to ask you, I don't know if you heard Meryl Streep's comments about how mixed martial arts is not really the arts. D did you hear that and what were your thoughts when, when you heard that? No, but actually, because martial arts, there is a, some principles, you no? Know? And the MMA is a sport, but looks like a real combat. And also, martial arts uh, has more philosophy, you no? Know, behind the, the techniques. So, MMA is more a combat sport, like a professional sport. It's different, you no? Know? But I think the... For example, for me, I'm, I'm not consider myself at an MMA fight. I'm consider my, a martial artist. So it's a little different because we put our philosophy in our mind and our career. I want to ask you, uh, being that you obviously have a specific style as far as karate, uh, there's a lot of talk recently of Conor McGregor fighting 
Floyd Mayweather in the specific style of boxing. What are your thoughts on that fight and is it pretty much just he's a fish out of water in, when it comes to boxing or do you think he actually has a, a, a shot at beating Floyd Mayweather? I don't know because Conor McGregor, he has a good distance and good time. So most of the boxing guy, they, they used to do to fight the, the guy, they train just boxing. So, so maybe Conor, Conor McGregor can surprise him with the distance and the time. But once Conor McGregor stay in the close distance, and maybe Floyd, May Floyd Mayweather is going to be more advantage for that. And last question. Uh, the big fight at the end of the year in MMA, Ronda Rousey, there was a big talk about her return and you know she ended up getting knocked out in 46 seconds. Uh, what were your thoughts on, on that and was it just a matter of she maybe should have taken a warm-up fight beforehand? Is Has the sport caught up to her? What are your thoughts on that her whole situation? Well, I'm not sure about how was the Ronda Rousey campus, no, but the thing that my thought is you have to get more experience during your training, you no? Know? You cannot be by yourself or just you and your coach. You, you should train with the partners and the group to make your spirit to be stronger. Because when you do some sparring with the other guy, the other guy is going to hit you and you have to get up again and you have to stay uh, Put your spirit strong again, and you you're gonna pass many situations during the training. If you have a group, if you have a many different sparring, that the guy's gonna hit you. You're gonna know how can you absorb the impact, how can you survive that moment. So that is gonna be a lot of experience. And when you're gonna fight, you're gonna feel more comfortable in that because you're already passing your training this kind of situation, you know? So not gonna win or lost, but that's gonna feel more confident. If you feel more confident, you're gonna be more, you can, you, you can, you not, you not hesitate because you feel more confident. And some situation is gonna happen, you're gonna feel more used to do that before because you had a good camp, you know, you've been there before many times, but if you're training like just yourself and just some partners, I think depend on each one. But I feel more more confident by myself when I train with the group because I took some hit, I took some punch. Some, sometimes the guy knocked me down and I can't try to survive. So I pass many situations that I'm gonna, maybe I'm, I'm gonna find that during the fight. So if this happened during the fight, I have more chance to survive because I already passed this other times. That's a great breakdown and a very good point. Thank you so much for the time, man. Best of luck to you January 21st. Thank I appreciate you. it. Thank you.